Hello everyone, good morning, I am VS and welcome back to Create Chronicles. Uh, listen, I had a bomb idea for today, but unfortunately it didn't, it's not possible anymore in the newer version. So let me first tell you what it was. <clears throat> uh, there is an experience book from Cyclic called uh, Experience Boost. And what Experience Boost 3 does, if you read the description, uh, hold shift, uh, increases experience drops from killing and mining. And in the previous versions, whatever block you mined, no matter what it is, you could mine these leaves and they would drop such an insane amount of experience. It's not even funny. You could get to from level 0 to level 100 in about two and a half minutes. It was insane how broken that enchantment book was. Uh, unfortunately, they fixed it in newer versions, or they patched it, is the correct word, to where the only blocks that drop experience at all are blocks that already drop experience without even having the book. So, for example, if you break a diamond block, uh, or, I mean a diamond ore, or a redstone ore, you will get a massive experience boost from those blocks only. Um, and w the cheat that I like to call, it used to be that if you put on a pickaxe, if you have a pickaxe and you put on it uh, experience boost 3 and mending both at once, uh, you would be able to have an infinite durability weapon that would be impossible to break because even if you go mining with vein miner, you would get so much more experience that not only do you not uh, lose levels and have to go repair your pickaxe, you would be gaining levels. I was level 90 at some point and I would go vein mining and I would my levels would just keep increasing so incredibly fast. It was a deadly combination. It has been patched, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I recorded a few clips uh, where I went exploring and I found a village which is <clears throat> from the mod uh, what's the mod called? Uh, iron spells and spell books yeah that's correct and I got a bunch of loot and on the way back I passed through this mountain right over here yeah this this is a mine shaft and inside it I found a uh, a lost city uh, from vanilla minecraft so I didn't loot it uh, so yeah I will just show you a couple of clips now from what I have recorded and next up we are going to oh, huge lag spike next up we're going to be focusing on today's theme uh, yeah I found a village <laughs> by the way I've been exploring a little bit this is the world spawn I've, I just went a little left and I found this first house that I went into it's from uh, irons, spells, and spellbooks. So I am going to take everything that you own, which I killed a little bit earlier. Uh, so yeah, let's get this. I looted it already. Oh, this is another iron spell and spellbooks uh, residence. Yes. Oh yes, gold war glaive from Simply Swords. This is the first. Um, loot from Simply Sword that I get ever. It's pretty good. Nice, nice, nice. This house has... has some value. Oh, and it has a waystone. Nice, nice. So I can teleport back and forth, which is good, because... Uh, today we're going to get mending. I'm gonna do it off-camera. It's very simple. I just... Uh, I already have the, um... I already have the lectern. I just need to... to gather a few emeralds to be able to actually trade for a uh, mending book. And I will show you exactly why in just a few seconds let me just give me everything you own I want it all what is this bestiary lectern I need it I want it this is mine now thank you what's this bestiary I want it I need it this is mine now here's a problem I have been mining a lot and my pickaxe has been has been taking some serious damage it's time we craft our first infinite durability weapon. Experience boost 3. Oh, that's so good though. Ah, uh, hello. Did you lose your trade? No, you did not. That's amazing. 
Oh, yes. I need eight vines. Good, 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 good. Uh, let's get one more and have that growing in the base. Wait a minute. <laughs> Completely overlooked the fact that this is a mineshaft in the middle of nowhere. Hello? Hello? Please don't be a boss fight, please. Please don't be a boss fight, please. Oh, that's a minecart. <sighs> whoa, 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 that's an ancient city. Oh my god, that's an actual ancient city. Those are bricks. That is an actual ancient city. That's not just skulk. That is super lucky. Oh my god. Interesting. Okay, uh, let me just... Uh, I have a thing I want to do, so... I, I have a thing I want to do, so I can't deviate too much, but it's great to know that we have a whole system, uh, cave system down here. Let me just get the, um, the chest that was over there in the minecart, and also this one. No mimic? Yes, mimic. That, please. Okay, what? Whoopee cushion, cushion, cushion. Ah, uh, just sugar cane. Mm, that was not worth it. Okay, that's for the future then. As long as I have 30,000 mana, I think I can one-shot the Warden. How much HP does a Warden have? It's two chests. Ah, uh, it's four chests, actually. Oh my god. Oh, wow! Diamond Chakram! Ah, uh, yes, please. Just put everything in. Uh, this one. It also has a bunch of loot. And now these two. Another backpack! Wow! Diamond Spears. Scorch Scroll. Sounds pretty good. Uh, what is this? Lost Eye. It is told that it was forged by the first blacksmiths of time. We're taking everything, please. Another ring, ring of mining. I already have like four of those, and so many backpacks. Yeah, experience boost. Uh, come with me. Yeah, do you see these leaves? D do you see these leaves? It's not working. Why is it not working? Nope, doesn't work on stone either. Oh, they nerfed it so bad. So, uh, yeah, that's what happened. I don't remember exactly what you saw because it has been days since I last played this. So today's theme is the nether. And we are going to first move all of these because I want to build a nether portal over here. And we are going to transport all of those right back over here. Uh, did I sow the leaves? I think I mentioned it in the clip I showed you earlier, but yeah, I also decorated the house with a bunch of leaves to... I don't want it to be just yellow. I don't really like the color yellow. So, first thing, uh, first things first, transport all of the animals, uh, the cages, uh, back there to get more space. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> there was a little accident <laughs> while breaking the fences. Uh, <coughs> uh, some sheep have mysteriously... <laughs> gone missing so some cows as well listen it's fine okay it's it's fine it's really 
fine. It's perfect, actually, if you think about it. Are you really thinking about it? It's perfect, actually, if you're truly thinking about it. There we go, okay. Um, I also want to mention uh, the, the vines are spreading horizontally, which I didn't know was a thing. I don't think it's from vanilla. I don't think they do that in vanilla Minecraft. I think it's because of some mod. I'm not very sure, though. So, uh, all of the problems, in quotations, are now gone, the obstacles. And you can see I have made a couple of uh, lines over here. This is where we will divide the biomes, so where we will transition from uh, beets to um, the forest or to plains, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I don't want any stone to be separating uh, the two biomes because it looks weird. It really does look super, super weird. So uh, now I am going to clean this up by breaking all of the, the top layer of the stone. Obviously, I'm not going to go all the way down to bedrock. That's a, a psychotic move to do. But I am going to... Uh, terraform just a little bit so it looks nice. Uh, hello. Uh, here's the thing. I just, I literally just lost my Fortune 3 Efficiency 4 pickaxe because I vein, I accidentally used vein miner. I made a hole somewhere right here. I accidentally vein mined straight down. I have little claws at the end at the end of my my hand. What does that do exactly? Uh, increase the words attack speed. Oh, oh yeah, that is definitely so much faster. It's like a 15% boost. That is super good. Uh, I also realized I had a clip which was supposed to go in the previous episode where I started messing with the create mode. I had a clip that showed all of the artifacts that I have collected. So. Let me just go over all of those right now. Uh, superstitious hat applies an extra level of looting to killed entities. Uh, feral claws increase the wearer's attack speed. The backpack I upgraded, by the way, to diamond, which means that I now have this, which is a, a monster of a backpack. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, thorn pendant has a chance to damage attackers. Uh, ring of speed, when worn uh, as a ring, grants speed effect. Uh, tool belt, uh, this is not from the thing. Uh, a ring of experience, pull XP orbs towards the player. I thought that this would be extra experience, but that's not what that is. A ring of mining grants haste too. And the running shoes increases the wearer's movement speed while sprinting, increases the wearer's step height while sprinting. And that's why uh, when I'm running, I can step all on full block. So I can, you know, uh, just like how, how a horse can gallop and step over one block heights more silk tats when i was looking for silk tats i couldn't find it but now it's literally everywhere yeah okay level 18 i am right now i'm speaking like yoda <laughs> oh my god what are you oh, what am i doing Jesus, I mean these, I do use iron pickaxes, normally I would use stone, but this this is not a waste, but it was a mistake, even if it's not a waste, which I don't feel good about mistakes. Anyways, uh, we cleared up the area, I'm gonna finish this up as well, it's looking pretty good in my opinion so far, obviously there need to be trees and a few other decorations to fill the space, but for now, it's barely enough for me. And right now I'm going to uh, get into the build, which uh, when I say get into the build, I mean skip to when the, when the build is finished. trying to gain a few levels. Hmm. Hello again. Uh, leveling up is going pretty well because I found this... Uh, I don't know what to call it. It's like a crypt. I found this crypt which is filled everywhere with um, zombie spawners. 
There was also a little bit of loot, so I got uh, a couple of uh, couple of scrolls. Let's see, we get shockwave scroll level one and wall of fire level one. If I want to level up from now on, I just come down here and there are. It's so big. I just explored for like for a couple of minutes. There are so many layers and so many corridors. There are chests. Uh, sparingly, but there are enough chests uh, because the, the crypt itself is so big, so there are all of these corridors that you can go down and each corridor has even more spawners and if you walk around a little bit you will find staircases that lead to even more underground corridors which is pretty insane like there's so much to explore I'm gonna die! Okay. Okay. Eat. Even more corridors, and I don't know if it gets even more dangerous the lower you go. Doesn't exactly look like it. Oh, there are different mobs though. Oh, you have a sword! Okay. Okay, yeah, it does get more difficult. Never mind. Okay, number one. Uh, smite two, fire aspect two. I will take it. And. Uh, just some very rudimentary loot. Uh, nope, this goes, <laughs> this goes even lower. I'm so lost. Okay, uh, iron, war glaive, bunch of healing, circle scroll, level 3. Arrow volley, level 2. All of this sounds awesome. I want every single bit. Found this, uh, this dagger. Looks pretty awesome, but it does have... The um, catal catalysis effect, which, as you can see from the achievement as well, uh, the description is killing mobs will spread the skulk nearby, which I'm not very sure if it's a good thing. Oh, another chest. Let's get it. Hard stop level 2. It's a blood spell. That sounds insanely good. I want to try it. Yeah, we're gonna have to come down here with um, with enough rations and some armor and get everything. Is this an... that's another. Blessing 9? Universal magnetism? Everything that's dropped in the world will come to me? That's crazy, if that's what I think it is. Oh, another. Oh my god. Magma bomb. Yeah, we're gonna have to come down here. This is insane. Anyway, uh, back to building. I'm almost level 30. I will go and get my pickaxe and I will show you the build a little later. Before I die and lose literally all of my experience. Uh, yeah, the exact same pickaxe as uh, before. <coughs> I cleared the area a little bit. Uh, the build that I will be building is from Foxel. So this is the build from Foxel. I have the, the video ready. Let's get to building. Okay, listen, it's done. <coughs> I'm also <coughs> starting to work on like a path which is gonna have uh, these blocks. It's gonna have coarse dirt, pathways, and a little bit of sand or sandstone. Uh, this is the build. Obviously, I, I smothered it in oak leaves everywhere because that's kind of uh, the theme around here. I, I'm not a good builder, so I just throw leaves on everything to cover it up. Uh, it's a good strategy. <laughs> it seems to be working a little bit. So yeah, this is the build. It's pretty good. Uh, I modified it uh, a bit, obviously. It uses a bunch of uh, modded blocks. These are not vanilla. Uh, these um, those uh, planks are also not vanilla. They are walnut planks. I just thought it was too grey, so I put a lot more brown in the build to make it... Um, to give it a little bit more color. I don't listen, I can't really explain it. You know, I'm not I have no idea what I'm talking about. Uh, so I am starting to work on like all of the paths how the uh, all of the paths uh, will be connected. The leaves on the edges are temporary for now. I don't know if it will stay like this, but I don't know. I will have to shape it first to to see how it looks at the end. Okay, hello. Uh, I may have gone a little overboard, but I, uh, yeah, I had fun building. I oversimplified the path. There's no sandstone in it anymore. There's no gravel. It's just uh, a dirt path, 
some coconut slabs to not have full blocks and either dirt or coarse dirt. Uh, in this biome, because it's a beach, I can use uh, plain dirt because it won't get turned into uh, grass. But uh, if it's on, you know, the thing, the um, if it's on grass, if the path is on a forest biome or in a plains biome, I can only use coarse dirt because otherwise it will not be brown anymore. It will be uh, green. Uh, let's go and see where this leads. I still haven't explored yet. I don't think it will be the same destination as that portal because they are good like 32 blocks away. Let's see. Is it? Oh. Oh yeah, it's the exact same. Never mind then. Uh, good. Let me... Also, I found this chapter. I want to explore in new dimensions. Beginning an exciting journey beyond the overworld. Blah 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 blah. Uh, so we unlock a new chapter. Let's get that, and uh, let's actually see, this is not a very safe spot to be in. Uh, let's see what this chapter is all about. Uh, dimensions, okay. We have blue skies, the ether, the twilight forest, the other side, deeper and darker, and the end. Uh, blue skies, I think I have heard of this from the Neo Cubist. He did a, a modded playthrough sometimes, some time ago. I think, I'm not completely sure. Uh, the ether, I, I know it from the memes. I didn't know it was an actual thing. Uh, the Twilight Forest, obviously, the end, and the other side I have never heard of before. Which is, which is good. Uh, let's look at the bosses and skill points. I, I defeated my first boss. Apparently, I didn't even know it was a boss. I literally had the same... I had like three pieces of iron armor, which is now broken. I went into the jungle. Let me read the description. Uh, Foliath. These jungle lurking plant monsters want nothing more than to eat anything that moves. They may seem like ordin ordinary ferns, but they will emerge if you come close. So, it's uh, like the plant from... Um, Super Mario, you know, the the plants that come out of the, the pipes. It looked like a normal plant, yes, so I walked closer to it and it came out and I just slapped it until it died. I, How is that even considered a boss? It was like killing a a, a, a piglin brute. That it doesn't count, it doesn't even count as a mini boss. What I would count as a mini boss is like an iron golem which is so incredibly tough to beat compared to that thing. Honestly, that wasn't even... It wasn't even a challenge. Oh! Uh, you're Blaze. Here's the thing. What was that? What is that? Oh my... What? What? My body just tensed up completely. I need to leave. I need to take a break. Close. Close. What was that? Uh, tough. Get hit by a sentry's lightning attack. Sentry. So, it's a proximity thing, I'm assuming. If I get... Yeah, 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 it's a proximity. Proximity thing. How is that a lightning attack? That's like blue fire. That counts as lightning? There's, it seems to be on a timer. Oh my god. Oh my god, what the... I shouldn't swear, I, I really shouldn't. Oh no, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Oh my god, three hearts. Damage. Okay, let's uh, look at the loot. Uh, golden glove with unbreaking 3 plus 0 0.25 attack damage. That's not bad at all, actually. Let's take that. It's shooting continuously, it doesn't stop. Okay, yeah, no. Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. It shoots at a random. Okay, it doesn't have good aim, so it means I need to cover up everything. How do you keep reviving? What's happening? It doesn't... it can't die? Okay, and it's cornered. Good, good, good. So now I can kinda... maneuver around and actually kill it or do some damage. Let's see, there we go. 
What was that? Um, I can't read that. What does that... S extinguish a pipeline sentry. Efficiency 3. Seriously? I didn't even get a single blaze rod. I do need two blaze rods. That's a thing that I need uh, for the next episode. So, let me see if I can see anything on the map. Like a fortress. Okay, this seems like a conglomeration of pipes, which I'm assuming means there is going to be something in the middle of it, something like a boss. Don't want to go near that just yet. Oh, there is nothing. Where's the nether fortress? Okay, first I will try to get out of the biome. We're going west for now. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Uh, also, let me get in a little bit of a safer space. I, I made... Uh, this, the crafting upgrade, it's super easy to craft, it's just a little bit of iron and some leather and stuff, and it gives me a, you know, a, a crafting bench on the go, so I can always craft if I, uh, without carrying wood with me. But, oh, your conundrum. Uh, no, your sulfur from Create the Factory Must Grow in the nether. Oh, you do fire damage. But you give a lot of leather, which is good. And because of the halberd, I have incredible reach. You can hit you from 50 blocks away. Uh, is that a fortress? No, that's a bastion. What am I talking about? What are you? What are you? Bone Imp? I seriously don't want to approach you, but I have to. My curiosity... Oh my god, don't. Don't one-shot me. Oh, it's gonna one-shot me. Is it looking at me? Let's see. No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, Leviathan. Ooh, no, thank you. Where? Die like your mother did. First try, by the way. I'm not trying to flex, but first try. Why are you not being put out? Okay, you're just gonna dodge everything. How are you doing? How are you doing that? <laughs> Stop moving in zigzag patterns. There we go. Uh, let me take another look at the map, but I don't want to be too exposed. Okay, let's see. Uh, what are you? Crimson forest, crimson nylon. Good, good, good. Uh, soul sand. It might be a wastes biome. Let's just keep going north, north, uh, east. W west? Was it west? Yeah, west. I just want to see how the bu- Don't touch me. What are you called? I couldn't look. What are you? Fire, firelight. Give me things. Firelight dust. Oh, I think we fa- Yeah, 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 okay, good. Good, yes. And it's spo- Wait, um minute <laughs> wait a minute <laughs> this doesn't hmm something uh, hmm something is wrong are you gonna attack me if I open your chest okay we're good we're chilling we're chilling knockback one uh, nether eye it was lost by a demon in the battle between the ether and the nether summon horse call uh, scroll level one bunch of good things. A bunch of good things. Can you not do that? Well, I guess that's also extra inventory space since I can use it like this. It's not a bad thing at all. What? Staring to despair? Is it the eye? Get your first nether eye. Good. Your first. Okay, so we have to collect a bunch of those. Good to know. I will keep an eye out. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm not actually funny. The reason that I'm talking so quickly and not as excitedly it's because I'm super nervous. Again, if I die, I lose everything. At least, thankfully, uh, graveyards get created, or tombstones get created where you die. So you can come back and retrieve your items, but that's gonna be a little bit difficult, I think. Crimson Forest. If you look at the minimap, which I am now looking at for the first time, I should really... Uh, take a peek every now and then to see if there are any dangerous mobs around me. That seems like a good strategy. But, we now have access 
to this biome, which looks pretty normal except for the occasional magma block which doesn't exist in vanilla. Other than that, it looks fine. I guess. I'm not noticing anything. The music is so unnecessarily spooky. Why do you do that to me? Okay, mosquitoes? Are you... Oh my god, you're way bigger than the other ones. Why are you so big? Why are you so big? Oh my god, it's stuck in my face. Oh, guys, this is not a good biome. Crimson mosquito probos probuscus. Probuscus. How do you pronounce that? I think it's probuscus. I think I said that correctly. Guys, this is... Guys, this is not good. This is not good. I'm almost trembling. Well, not actually. It's just a game, but... You know, uh, it really is a lot more spooky than vanilla, which is a good thing, obviously. If it was as boring as vanilla, it wouldn't really be... Uh, there wouldn't be any merit to playing it like this. But it is also quite disappointing how far I have traveled, and I still haven't even caught a glimpse of the fortress, even in the minimap, because the minimap extends for so many chunks. It extends for so many chunks, but I still haven't found anything, even on the minimap. Let's just get to the warped forest as well, and that's where I will end it, I think. I think it's just noise, I don't think it's radioactivity. No, you're attacking something, that's not good. That is not good, never mind. Am I in danger? I am so in danger, I thought it was the ambience. But I want to look so badly. Why is there music playing? Who has a boombox? Oh my god, I'm gonna get one shot. It's coming from on top of me. The moment I pick my head, I'm gonna die. Okay, let's pillar up from a distance. I think that's a good idea. Probably. I'm not... I don't know. Okay, uh, there's experience orb. Something died. Not a good sign, because that means something is super aggressive. And is killing its fellow residents of the nether. Okay, that pigling is looking down at something. There's... Uh, am I correct? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it's the pigling itself. You have a backpack on you. Oh my god! 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 Give me everything you own! Oh my god, there's more! What was... what was it? There's no way it was a mutated Enderman. There is no way. Uh, because I just found out I was looking uh, in the achievements. I was looking through the bosses list and I found the mutant creeper and I, reali I realized that this uh, mod pack has the uh, the chemical X. So it could have been a mutated enderman, but I don't think so because watching Warglave. I don't think so because it drops a bunch of other unique stuff which I don't see. I think we're good. Uh, what backpack? Oh, you're, you have a specialized backpack. <laughs> If I kill you, I might get uh, like a very unique backpack with uh, unique effects. Let's see, piglin backpack. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, never mind. It's just a retextured. It's just a retextured to, to fit your skin. Good to know. Uh, good enough for me, you know. I'm gonna end the episode here. I'm going back. I have to prepare more. I have to get armor and a bunch of other things to come back more prepared and I really do wonder what this was what died over here it dropped 5 ender pearls, 3 eyes of ender and a watching war glaive Samson hit to rip the life from a target below 25% HP and grant some of it as absorption to the wielder Unique effect watcher, chance on hit to siphon the health of nearby enemies healing the wielder Okay, listen, thank you uh, very much for watching. I will hopefully see you in the next one. Uh, GG's.